Have you ever won in a lottery? Because I have. But I don't have a million bucks. But this one feels like a jackpot. We're going to Aethan! You're welcome. Just these. No need for a bag. Thank you. Have a good one. hall overhead. I think this is where we go. We're finally in. Just need to figure out where to go exactly. Be right back. We made it. All right. Finally got our badges. We have our bags at our table. Now we're gonna get out of here, go to the parking area, and we're gonna come back here and start setting up. I'm still hungry. See you guys later. The past few weeks leading up to the con have been very busy. On top of me having to revamp my inventory and setup since ASIN doesn't allow selling or advertising of stickers. I had a day during the weekend to practice my setup and that wasn't enough. So I came early on Thursday to figure out most of it. Day one was very busy. Within 15 minutes of the doors opening, I was already taking transactions. Luckily, I am local to the show, so my expenses were very low as shown on the screen. I made back all of my expenses by one o'clock. Hi, it's 5.30, an hour before closing time. It's been a crazy and good Friday, so very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Rat time. Thank you for that intermission. Yeah, it's been very hectic. Never really got the chance to vlog anything substantial. And I was having mic problems since this morning. Now, I think it's finally working. I had to figure out the setup because I didn't finish setting up yesterday. And I had to organize my prints for my helper. And I was packing prizes for the stamp rally and I was coordinating a lot of stuff for the stamp rally since I'm co-hosting it but Friday is turning out really well very tired but very very fulfilled <laughs> so looking forward for dinner looks like we're gonna be having some ramen with some friends and my helper has been giving out candies and water to people let's see what does what does that say 
He'll never go blanky mode. He'll never go blanky mode. So I should be able to show how I organize the back side of my table. Um, today it's just been really messy. It's Friday and somehow I can't seem to master my setup, but that's because every con I go to, I change my setup. <laughs> and my table is a no sticker display, so it's really different. But I do love how it turned out. I think that it's very cohesive. So I'm really excited to show that tomorrow since the previous clip I tried to record, there was no good audio. So tomorrow I'll be able to do that and show you the back side of my table, see how I organize it. Hopefully give you guys some inspiration how you guys can set up your table as well. But yeah. I fixed it. Now you can read it. Thank you for an amazing Friday. See you guys later. <laughs> Oh, sorry. We made it. Happy Saturday. How's it going, guys? Finally back here. It's 10 minutes before 9 o'clock. I'm going to go get ready for the day so I have enough time to chill before the crowd comes in. It feels, it definitely feels a lot colder right now yesterday it was just warm i came in it was warm outside it's warm it was just warm the entire time here in the convention center and i'm guessing since it's saturday they're probably expecting more people to come so they're now making the place a little bit colder than usual which is nice that's really appreciated because a lot of people were complaining yesterday especially the cosplayers but yeah, Friday was really good. It was my best Friday. Very happy about that. I'm very, very happy, very, very grateful. And I'm actually going to be able to do a proper tour of my setup, both in front and at the back side. So stay tuned. got our banner here I put my table sign right here because it is required and this is what a no sticker table looks like for me at least I was kind of stressing out about it because I didn't really get enough time to practice my setup and spend so much time setting up on Thursday and Friday morning before they open but here it is I have I have a number system here since I have a helper. Have my large prints this time. And then some medium prints available as well. And as you can see, there's like M1, M2, L1, L2. So it's easier for people to tell me what they want, especially if they're buying for their friends. Oops. Anyways, I have my acrylic charms here. Um, all of these, except for this and this, I rushed these designs. <laughs> I know, crazy. Then I have this stamp rally, which I'm very proud of because I designed this and I'm, I co-hosted it. And as you can see, it has the VHS vibes, Anime Central 2024, classic anime stamp rally. And then if you open this, you have the instructions on the left, how to join. And then you have your um, participants on the right side of the page and then at the back side is the map and then i have the prices here the only thing that's not listed here or not shown here is the naruto prize which people are actually haven't been you know saying anything about that anyway so going to this part here we have our letterette notebooks sticker books right there i have my b grade charms <laughs> And they're all over the place right now. I'm going to fix that in a little bit. And I have my tote bag with the exclusive print that I'm doing. Plus, if you purchase 
anything over $35, you get either print, your choice. Now on this side, you have the acrylic charms, part two, these are my older designs. So um, then of course the postcard prints and then some more prints over there, but yeah. Really happy how everything turned out. It's probably my favorite. It's very cohesive, very organized. Okay, there are already people browsing, so real quick. I have my charms right here, and then somewhere here. My prints all labeled here, and then my medium prints over here. Some more plastics, um, bags, some charms for the stamp rally, and also my restocks. Prices for the stamp rally. A bowl of candies. And then I have some more bags here, and then just some more utilities. Prices for the stamp rally. Tote bags over here, notebooks, my bag. There you go. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot function if my if the backspace of my table is not as organized as this. So that's how it works for my tiny little brain. <laughs> Day two started off less chaotic for me, but boy was it super busy. Thank goodness my helper was around to help me with transactions. And to top it all off, I doubled my Friday sales. Yay! Saturday is officially over. We are closed down. Time to have some dinner. Good morning. So it is finally Sunday. It's two minutes past nine o'clock in the morning. We just arrived here, so taking advantage of the calm before the storm. On my drive here, I was already feeling very emotional that ASEN is ending soon. Before ASEN, I was just ready for this convention to be over with, just because I definitely feel the burnout. And now that it's ending, I really feel sad <laughs> yesterday the sales were just continuous throughout the day from opening until probably about like 5 p.m there's like sales every two minutes which was insane i'm overwhelmed by your support here at anime central i don't know when's the next time i'm gonna be able to vend here again it is by lottery everyone that gets selected here should really seize the opportunity to vent here because it is amazing. I met a lot of new friends, a lot of great artists that I've never met before, and the attendees are just very, very nice. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and restock the prints and charms that sold out yesterday and pretty much get set up for the day. I'm waiting for my partner to arrive so I can look around and actually shop around, possibly do trades with other artists. This show is already my best performing show out of any con that I attended since 2023. This is my sixth show. I can also pretty much say that I feel like I'm getting the hang of things in terms of like what works well for me, the setup, I feel like it's more cohesive this time. I'm a little bit shaking right now, I don't know if you can tell by my fingers. <laughs> Before I even start crying, I'm going to go ahead and end this for right now, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
just need to get to the garage, get my car and park somewhere over there, and then pack my stuff and then be lazy about unpacking all of these tomorrow. I am not looking forward to it, mind you, but mm, whatever. Anyways, without further ado, here's my ASIN review. First things first, what went well? I really like the show hours. We had enough time to set up on Thursday. I definitely enjoyed the 6.30 p.m. closing time because that gives us enough time to leave the convention center and still have a decent amount of time to get dinner. The con ended at 4 p.m. on Sunday, which I love. I was able to get home at 7.30 p.m. after taking down my setup. Hasten's table cost is so cheap. I think it is one of the cheapest or probably the cheapest in the US. For a con this size, that's unbeatable. I wish all cons are like this. Next is that I met my profit goal. While I'm not comfortable sharing my exact dollar amount, Saturday was my most profitable day, followed by Sunday and then Friday. I think my average sale per transaction was about $22 to $25, and sales were non-stop throughout the con. I was so worried about the no sticker rule in the beginning, so I did two major things to compensate. First, I rush designed 19 acrylic charm designs that consisted of Chainsaw Man characters, and One Piece Straw Hat members in Egghead Arc. Second, I had nine of my existing prints printed in large format, plus my new Ranma half print in 11 by 17. I honestly feel so dumb for not doing the large prints a long time ago. I made most of my art before I started doing Artist Alley, so I never really gave sizing a single thought. <laughs> and I had a realization that I can have some of my prints printed in 11 by 14 size. So yeah, it was a human error. That's how you learn in life, I guess. <laughs> also, I think the little panic state I was in definitely helped with my decision making, though that was very stressful. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with that ever again. <laughs> Bottom line, both were very great decisions that I made and it helped me get a ton of sales. My large prints and postcard prints ended up becoming my best sellers at this con. Also, big shout out to the peeps in the JJK stamp rally and the classic anime stamp rally. I really appreciate everyone who participated in the stamp rallies and the attendees that joined and got their goodies. The vibes were immaculate. Attendees, amazing. Staff members, amazing. The other artists that I met, amazing. And lastly, I'm local to this con, so my expenses were very low. I never truly sold out because every time I was running low on some of my stocks, or if it sold out during the day, I was just able to restock some of them the next day. I don't really have a lot of negative things to say about this con in my experience, but I think there are a few things that could have done better. For one, I didn't count my inventory after the con and I didn't get a proper tally of my best sellers. That Monday after the con, I was just determined to clean everything and organize everything. So I just stacked all of my prints in one box and organized all of my charms in their containers. Basically told myself, that will be a problem for a later day. <laughs> I seem to be less organized when I'm doing a con locally. Hmm. We're gonna change that. Security line. A lot of attendees were complaining about the security line ASIN had implemented this year specifically. The sky bridge got insanely hot and humid and the line was so long it reached outside based from what I've seen. So I feel bad for everyone that had to go through that experience. Hopefully they change something about that in the future. And that should all be it. I would totally come back to this con if I get selected again. Just to quickly summarize the application process for this con, the Artist Alley pre-boarding application opened in December last year, and it was open for about a little over a month. In the pre-boarding application, new and returning applicants 
filled out the lottery form before the set deadline. Ace and staff then selected artists by a product category lottery. I learned about my acceptance March 1st and basically had a little over two months to prepare before the con. Given that I registered under print category, a very saturated category in and of itself, it was such a nice surprise to be selected. <laughs> before ending this vlog, I just have a few announcements to make. My next con is Anime Magic, which will happen in Rosemont, Illinois in August. After that, I am going to Portland, Oregon for Rose City Comic Con. It'll be my first time in Oregon, so I'm very excited about that. That might just be the last con of the year if I don't get accepted to one more that I'm waiting to hear back in July. After that, I just want to focus on enjoying life and preparing things for 2025. I asked both here on YouTube and on Instagram what would you all like to see in the next video? And majority of the people voted Artist Alley Essentials, so that will be the next video. I'm trying to upload every month so I can stay consistent and I hope that you guys stick around. <laughs> to end, I just want to say that vlogging is still a very new concept for me, so I'm still trying to figure out how to be comfortable in front of the camera. If you've been here since my Megacon vlog, then you can probably tell how I'm evolving in every vlog I post. That's growth, y'all. If you enjoyed this vlog, let me know in the comments below what you like the most about this video, what you don't like, maybe, what would you like to see in the future, or maybe something that I should do differently in the next video. Seriously, it helps to know what you guys think. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!